All right, so welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're gonna do a tutorial, a beginner's tutorial on how to edit your GoPro Hero 13 footage using the mobile phone GoPro Quick app. So I'm gonna jump over to screen share on my phone. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do everything. So first things first, if you've not already downloaded the GoPro Quick app, make sure you go and do that first in the Google Play Store or Apple's App Store. Once you've downloaded it and you've installed it, you then want to connect your camera to the app. So we want to take the media from our camera to the app so we can start editing. So you want to turn your GoPro 13 on. That we turned on. And then once you've got the app loaded up, like I have, you'll be prompted to create an account. You don't have to, but if you create an account, you can get access to all sorts of other perks like GoPro subscription and all sorts of stuff. I'm, I'm not a member, but I'm going to show you as a guest on this one. So I'm going to click continue as guest. And then you'll see here, we have a ton of options, but what we want to do is click the bottom right where it says GoPro. And if it hasn't already connected, we want to connect to our camera, which I believe my camera has already connected. I'll just check now. Okay, so we are all connected. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the media from our camera to our app. So we're going to click on here, it says view media. And now we have a selection of media that's on the SD card on this camera. So you want to select the videos that you want on your app to start with. So we're going to grab, let's just grab a couple of short clips. One, uh, two, three. And then you want to just click download at the bottom. And then the app will do its thing and it's actually now downloading the videos from the camera to your app. It's not actually saving them to your phone yet, it's just downloading them to the app. Okay, so now that's done, you wanna click view media at the top of the screen. So now we have a selection of media that we've taken from the camera to the app and it even says at the top here, app cloud phone. So in the app, we have three of these here. So what we're gonna do now, we can select all three of them, and then you want to click make edit. And it's gonna open up the editing software. So GoPro will actually just put together a quick bit of video for you, like automatically, but you can cust fully customize this. So I'm just gonna show you now. It will, it'll cut it all together and it'll do it with the beat of the music. For some reason this is actually playing upside down because I'm not too sure where it is. But basically what it's done is it's selected your footage and put something together in, in, with a beat and it's edited to the beat, which is kind of cool. What, do. what we can do though here, I'm just gonna quickly show you around it. Now you might not want titles like this here that says my edit or anything. So you can actually remove that completely. And then now we just have the footage. And we can also remove auto trim, take the beats off, if it'll let me. Okay, 120 frames a second. You can also remove the GoPro logo from the end. So if you navigate to the end as well, I don't know why they put GoPro's logo on the end because I think everyone should just delete that. But you can just delete the outro. Now, if you if you want GoPro to automatically create a video for you, you can basically do what I'm doing now. And you can also select the length. So you can tell it if you want it to be, you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 40, or even 50 or even longer. And it will then make an edit to that length of time. You can also tell it like what format you want as well. So if you, depending on if you want 16 by nine for say like a YouTube video like this, or maybe you want a four by three crop for say Instagram. I don't know where's the uh, best Instagram? Nine by 16 is probably for a story or a reel. And then we have three by four as well, which is for like, I would say main feed post on um, Instagram. It's playing these upside down, which is very strange. I think it's because it's like not got the gyro on my camera correct. But either way, that's how you change the format. Now, you may not want music on here. So I'm just going to turn the music off on this. And 
and you want no music at all, just scroll all the way to the left and you'll see no music. Click no music. And then now your footage will just be... We'll also do 4K and they will also do 240 frames at 1080. Now there are already some preset built-in themes in here as well. So again, this is again for very beginners who just want a cool edit from their footage without putting too much work in or having to know too much about the software. So they have all these themes in here. And again, you can turn the themes off. So your footage will then just be one clip, cut, next clip, cut, next clip, cut. And this is what this is now. This is literally just gonna go through the clips and it's just gonna cut between them. So there's no editing here whatsoever. From here, we can add clips or text as well, sorry. So if you wanted to add like a text overlay, we can do that. Duration. I never really put text on my videos. I usually just use this to trim clips together. But once you're happy with your footage, you're gonna click save at the top right hand corner. So have a play around with this because there's many different things you can do with it. And you're gonna click save and it'll say your edit has been saved. And then what you wanna do is now it's saved to the app. But if you want it on your phone, you are gonna click the, the there's an arrow pointing upwards. And then you have an option to save it to your photos, share the media straight to social media, I believe. Or yeah, you have to export it first, sorry. Or you can share it with somebody else. No, I would just click save to photos. And then it will tell you what kind of export quality you want. So you can click the icon there, the gear icon, and you can choose whether you want uh, the diff what, what quality you want your video to come out at. You can also improve the bit rate, which I would probably would recommend doing if you want the highest quality video saved to your phone. And codec, I generally go for H.264 because that's what most platforms like Instagram recognizes best. So if you want to use this footage on Instagram or social media, I would definitely go H.264 and then click continue. And it should prepare the video and it will just save this new media to your phone. Now I'm gonna come out of the studio for a second and we're gonna look at some other parts of this app which are quite cool. So if we click GoPro on the bottom right, right power on the camera again because it seems to have just powered off. I have mine on auto power off after five minutes. Okay, so now we're connected again. From here, you can click enable preview. So you can actually just look through as if you're looking for a GoPro on your phone, which is really useful if you have the camera mounted on your head or your chest, but it's basically not accessible, not easily accessible like it is just playing around here. So you can make sure your camera is pointing the right direction. You can set your camera up on your phone and never miss the shot. That's the most annoying thing when you put the camera mounted somewhere and it's pointed ever so slightly off angle or pointing the wrong direction completely. You can tweak that with the phone app quite easily. So once we're on the phone app, and looking through the screen of our camera, we can actually zoom in or out here. On the on the right, there's a bar, which is kind of cool, depending on how you want to frame your shot. And at the bottom here, we've got the option to change our settings on our camera directly from the phone. So we can change what mode we want to shoot in. We can change all the settings within the camera, frame rate, resolution, all this stuff. Basically, every single setting that's on the camera, you can change it on the phone much easier. I actually find it a bit of a fiddle changing the settings on this camera. It's quite hard to navigate around, whereas the phone, like literally, well, you can see here, yeah, it makes it really easy. You know exactly what settings you have. And then from here also, you can just tap the big red button and hit record. So it's really simple. And you can, you can also change the settings on the camera as well as the actual camera mode settings. So I hope that tutorial was useful if you're a beginner with your GoPro Hero 13 or even other models as well, to be honest with you. Uh, this tutorial will help you. And I hope you are able to navigate around the app and edit your videos like a pro. Make sure you go and check out some of these videos next and check out some of the other tutorials on my channel. And there's some useful links in the description below.